Talent management today is faced with really some challenges, some very powerful challenges that have put it into a state of disrepair. Um, you can think about talent management really rising up in the, out of the 1950s and 60s when there was a lifetime employment guarantee or contract between the organization and the employee. And that led to some very spectacular innovations, many things which we take for granted today, like leadership training programs, assessment centers, high potentials programs, cross job rotations. So it's a very innovative period. But what's happened over the last literally four decades is that uh, layoffs, outsourcing of jobs, um, executive recruiters, and even things like LinkedIn have been slowly eroding the influence of talent management and also basically snapping the contract for lifetime employment. So we stand today in a, a state where Overall, the systems and processes are nowhere near as effective as they could be. You have a far more mobile workforce, and you have a lot of what I'll call accelerators, and these are forces that are making it more difficult to do longer range planning, um, are making a much more mobile workforce than we've ever had before, and are giving the middle and lower level employees kind of the access to mobility and jobs that in the past would have been somewhat constrained to top levels and largely through executive recruiting agencies. One of the most important barriers to an organization being effective at talent management is the inability to link it directly to strategic initiatives. So if you're in an organization that actually has to move relatively rapidly into the digital age, you should have been planning for this five to ten years ago which would have translated into the search for individuals who could help you literally bridge in terms of reinventing the organization. The second area in which we see over and over again uh, where companies fail at talent management is they've made it too bureaucratic, too cumbersome a process for managers to implement. So it's more of a headache and list checking process than it is something which really engages managers around uh, talent, their needs for talent and the utility of talent. The other thing which I see over and over again is over-reliance on one dimension of talent management, say just recruiting, and an inability to link and integrate the other dimensions like development and retention. So um, those are a couple of the ways in which organizations actually stumble at doing a very effective job uh, at talent management.